Nightline. I am your host for this evening. I am Annie T. Broughton, and I'm super excited <laughs> to be in your homes on this evening. We are going to have such an awesome time tonight. We have none other than the beautiful Tiffany Glenn. She's the CEO and founder of a nonprofit ministry, A Heart to Serve. We have QL, a radio personality and host of the QL show. And then we have uh, youth pastor Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith. So we want you to call everybody that you know and ask them to tune into Nightline tonight. I do have a scripture that I would love to share for your hearing. It's lifted from St. Mark, the 12th chapter, 30th through the 31st verse. And it reads, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all of your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Tonight is going to be a night of awesome praise and worship. And I'm super excited for what the Holy Spirit is going to do tonight. But right now we're getting ready to go to Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith. And they're going to be singing, Help Me Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Anybody need God's help in this building? Come on. Hallelujah. Anybody need God's help in this building? But I said, all my help, it comes from the Lord. Come on. Come on, put them hands together. Come on. Anybody need God's help right now? Come on, put them hands together.
Come on, put them hands together. Come on. Ooh, said all of my help. All my help. It comes from the Lord. It comes from the Lord. Yeah. And the amazing gift and anointing youth pastor Jerome Moorhead and the voices of faith singing to help me Jesus to God be all the glory amen <laughs> praise God well I have such an amazing uh, young woman of God on the set with me tonight and somebody cried out and said help me Jesus and guess what God answered their prayer by sending this powerful woman of God so her name is Miss Tiffany uh, Glenn, uh, she is the founder and CEO of A Heart to Serve. A Heart to Serve is a nonprofit organization focused on giving back to the community by buying groceries and cooking meals for those in need of food or a hot meal. Hi, Tiffany. Hi. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. How are you? Tiffany, yes. may I tell you something? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> You're beautiful. Aww. And we are blessed to have you with us on Nightline. Thank you. Two people <laughs> told me about you. They was at an event mm -hmm. that you hosted. And they said, Pastor Annie, please, you have got to bring Tiffany on. <laughs> Aww. And I'm here. So, I know. <laughs> so you that, that just goes to show you that you are making an awesome impact in the community. And we are blessed to have you. So how are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> you doing yes, good? I woke up this morning. Yes, you did. Yes, By the you grace did. of God. By the grace of God. Yes. And I love that red, that's a power color, yes. right? <laughs> Signifies love. Signifies love, yes. amen, praise God. So Tiffany, I want you to share just a little uh, about you and about your ministry and your heart to serve. Well, A Heart to Serve is a nonprofit organization, like yeah. you said, that mm -hmm. we um, also we help people that's in need of groceries. And what we do, we f try to find these families and people refer them to us and we go deliver the groceries to them. Mm -hmm. Once we get to the home, you know, we ask them, you know, can we pray with you? You know, because there's so many people that is like l lost. Mm -hmm. they're sad they don't have no one to care for them right. and so if I can just give that impression to let them know God loves them yes. and and we are here to help you when we can we always let them know we help them one time so we can allow other people to be able to be helped as well well you know what I know that you genuinely <laughs> have a heart to serve and I spoke with you a couple of times over the phone yeah. And, you know, just listening, just talking with you. Mm -hmm. I could hear the love of God yeah. <laughs> coming through the phone. And then on top of that, mm -hmm. you brought me these beautiful flowers tonight. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. And acts of kindness goes a long way. And that's another thing that we do. We um, show acts of kindness. Um, and we, you know, sometimes I might pop at somebody's work and, um, and I might give them flowers. They might have had a bad day. Yeah. Somebody that's had surgery or something, I go help them with that um, and be there for them at that time of need. And yeah. it's just about, you know, going out, showing love, spreading kindness, because there's so much in this world that is, is so dark. And, but I just want to try to be that light to help someone yeah. that's in need. And, you know, I can't help everybody, but I can help somebody. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, if everybody just do a little something to yep. help somebody else along the way, that's mm -hmm. a blessing in yes, itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so when did you know, though, that you, this was part of what the Holy Spirit was leading you to do? Well, ever since, my mom said, ever since I was 12 years old, I always had a kind heart. Okay. And as I've grown, um, I always would help people, do things for people. And, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's this guy named Jimmy Darts. He goes out and do acts of kindness. You know, he's, I, I saw him on YouTube. And I was like, you know what? What if I can, you know, start a nonprofit 
you know, because this thing can get really big and God right. can help me grow and to meet more people, to help more people yeah. and to do this. So I just saw it said, God, should I do this? And I started at COVID, you know, when two years ago, mm -hmm. buying my um, neighbors uh, groceries because they were scared to go out, you know, when we didn't have toilet paper right. and stuff like that. <laughs> so I would make it to the grocery stores right when they start um, packing. I mean, you know, stocking. Yeah. And so I would find the toilet paper and I would bring it back to my neighbors. And then I would actually go buy them groceries too. And they said, can I pay you back? I said, no. I would, at that time I was working and I would spend my whole check buying my neighbor's groceries. And so that's when I said, you know what? God, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. And so that's when how I started it. I was gonna start it in COVID, but it was so much was going on. But I found people that helped me, I found a paralegal that helped me did my paperwork. And there, that's the rest is history. <laughs> and the rest is history. Mm -hmm. And this all began during COVID? Yes, yes, ma'am. Me just using my own money from my job. Um, thankfully, my husband has a great job and <laughs> I don't really have to work. Um, but he said, just do this. You know, this is what God wants you to do. So just go ahead and do it. And that's I did. That's amazing. You yes, have an awesome husband. Yeah. I met him before we came on the air. And you also have... Twins, twins, right? Yes, ma'am. Sean and Sierra, they <laughs> they just turned 16 in March. They, they're such a blessing, and mm -hmm. they, they help their mama when they can. They do? Yes. That's a blessing in itself. Mm -hmm. And you have been featured in several magazines, yes. right? So tell us about, you know, I wanted, and thank you, you, you gave me, which one did you give me? Um, the LV Business. Yay, yes. thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Flowers in a magazine. Yes, yes. <laughs> It's so tell us about these magazines All right, you so in. My friend, she, um, her name is Laverne Sproul. She came from New Jersey and she has a, um, and that's her company, LV Magazine. Yeah. Um, she's now in the upstate right now. And she, when I met her through my best friend, um, she, um, I told her what I was doing. She said, you know, I would like to create you your first magazine when you get started. Wow. So she cre created the one um, I was featured in July the 22. This one? Which one? This one right this here. This one, okay. Um, that's a chef um, out of, I think, Charlotte. But um, mm -hmm. she featured me in that one, and then she gave me a present in 2023 of LV. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, you, you, that was so nice of her to do that. And um, so I was like, oh, thank you. So I'm able to, you know, give it to people or they'll buy it, you yeah. know, just, just, you know, for donations. So, yeah. yes, ma'am. And I just thought I would give you one because I thank really you, do appreciate <laughs> I appreciate this opportunity, and you I'm so happy welcome. that you like the flowers. As I well. love the flowers. <laughs> I do. Yes, I do. And also, let me ask you this though: Have you met? I mean, I know you say you you did this out of your own purse, your own pocket, mm -hmm. and your husband he supported that. Yes. But did you meet with any type of challenges at all? Of course. Um, you know. Um, you know, with, you know, with people in this day, you know, because mm -hmm. it's so hard out there, a lot of donations don't get to come in, but, you know, I am yeah. looking forward to, um, you know, getting grants and stuff like that. Because oh, okay. eventually I would like to have a building where <laughs> I can, um, you know, help other people. Yeah. And my vision is to have a soup kitchen and within that soup kitchen also have showers for the homeless can just come in, take a quick shower, feel good about themselves, and then eventually turn into helping them getting jobs and everything like that. So um, any challenges, when I run into challenges, I just go in my prayer room and I just ask God to help me, yeah. you know, and lead people to me that can help. You know, so that's where I'm at now, you know, to get, you know, to try to get more people to jump on board to help. And, you know, a lot of people, I always tell people, um, <laughs> you know, I don't do this for show. I do it. No, I can tell that. I do it to encourage some other people to give it in their heart to help somebody else. I'm sorry, right. I don't, don't want to cry. No, no, no. <laughs> that's, that to me, so. you have such a compassionate heart, mm -hmm. you know a heart to serve and yes. yeah so and you're passionate about it yes ma'am yeah so that's what those tears yes. those are tears of joy <laughs> you know I got a Kleenex oh, now. Did, oh <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> all right yeah but just to show the love of Christ yes you know we are the hands and feet of Christ yes. we're his voice yes you know and if we can tell somebody mm -hmm. or show someone yes. that we love them that they are important because there's so many people in this world 
who feels lost yes, and do. lonely mm -hmm. and by themselves. But God sent you. Yes. You have been anointed for this. Yeah. Your and mother really said believe. that when yeah. you was like 12 years old, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if someone, though, wanted to donate to you, how could they? They can go on our website, www.ahearttoserve.online, mm -hmm. and it got several ways you can donate, Visa, PayPal, um, MasterCard, or they can go to Cash App, A Heart to Serve, okay. um, TG, and they can also donate on that, um, and also PayPal, one, you know, uh, my A Heart to Serve, uh, g gmail at com. Okay. So, yes. Awesome. Yeah. Or they can meet me with some cash and I go deposit <laughs> it in my account. There you go. At a heart there to you serve. Go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So just, hey, w there are so many ways to help. Yes. And I'm sure that, you know, your phone is going to be ringing. Yes. You know, all that kind of stuff. And actually Saturday, we actually f making up 50 lunch bags to go hand out to the homeless this weekend. So on Saturday at two o'clock. So I see you brought some pretty ladies with you. So they help you or they're just friends of yours? They, fr they help me. They support me. They be at my events w with me. She, um, One of my friends, she helped take pictures and stuff. And so they, they help as well. So yeah. they are, they're my support system. Yeah. They're your support system. Yes. And with, along with my family. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if, you, if someone wanted to talk to you about getting involved in doing something like this. And yes. They just got a heart to serve too. Yes. How would you encourage them tonight? I would encourage them and say, you know, call me anytime. I'm here. If you can't help, you can just, you can donate non-perishable goods. If you can't give money, I mm -hmm. take those. I make boxes for families um, that's in need. Um, you can donate many ways. We can also donate and you can, you can come and talk to me. We can talk about Jesus. We can talk about I anything that. that you want to talk about. If you're down and out, I'm here. You know, so, um, you know, they can help in many ways. They can, you know, monetary, they can, you know, whatever they want to do. They can go out with me on grocery runs, go to other people's houses and help me wow. pray with them. So, yeah, I always ask the um, person before if it's okay, I bring somebody with mm -hmm. me. You know, most of the time they say yes, mm -hmm. you know, so it's good. And, you know, I always post on social media. I ask for their permission. And all of them, a lot of them are like, yes, please, because we want to encourage people Hey, it's other people. It's your angel, you know. So it's several angels yeah. out there. Yeah, you know Earth that can angel. help. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Yes. yeah, and I can tell that what you do. I mean, really, Tiffany, you you do it with so much joy. Yes, ma'am. You know, mm -hmm. and I can see why people will want you to come. <laughs> and if you ask them, if can I bring someone else with me, they probably they trust you. So yes, they're gonna <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. So when is you, when is your next event that you're going to be having? Um, I have um, this is was my second um, charity event, my third charity event. It'd be next um, year, August the second, mm -hmm. um, at 5:30 to 9:30. So uh, we'll be working on that this year, fundraising and you know doing a lot of that. So to get ready for that. Yeah. But I try to do something every month, like have a fundraiser mm -hmm. every other month, have a, a activity, you know, to keep it going. Keep it going. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so what are some of the things you you put in your uh, your bags and you take out? Sometimes it's just um I this this week is going to be sandwiches uh -huh. and um chips and us in a um bottled water and sometimes I make care packages, you know, like soap um, wow. toothpaste, toothbrush, you know, stuff like that. I don't get razors or anything because, you know, they can be dangerous out there with right, that. Right, exactly. So, you know, we try to put stuff in it they can use, and sometimes I even put, like, a $5 McDonald card in there, you know, because they walk <laughs> around the street or whatever, yeah. and they ask me, can you give me some money? I said, no, but if you're hungry, I feed you. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Yes. If you're hungry, I will feed you. Yes. Well, I am super excited for you to be with me on Nightline tonight, and again, you know, so many people, uh, I know a couple of people yes. said, please <laughs> bring Tiffany on, yes, because what, I don't know what you said, <laughs> I don't know what you did at that event, oh. but you made a great impression yes, <laughs> on these people, and so, and I'm proud of you, I'm thankful for you being such a positive yes. young woman of God, and you know, I, say, I always say that, you know, we live in a world where there's so many things going on. Yes. But 
you know, there's a song that says, if I can help somebody yes. along the way, yes. then my living mm -hmm. will not be in vain. Amen. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, so thank you for doing what you do and reaching the people that you reach. And, you know, because I'm telling you, you are awesome, powerful young woman of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, right now, we, we're getting ready to go back to Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith, and they're going to be singing Anointing, and He Kept Me. Amen. 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 It's anointing that destroys every yoke. Amen. Hallelujah. We just need for God's power and his glory to fall in this place. Amen. If you don't mind, can you just lift your hands and begin to worship God tonight? Anointing. Anointing. Anybody need God's anointing? Anointing. Let it rain. Blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Let it rain on me. Let it rain oh God. On healing. healing. Somebody came in here sick tonight. Healing. But I decree you heal by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it rain on Let me. It rain on power. Me. power. Whatever you speak out of your mouth, it's got to come to pass. Let it rain on me. That's what I need the Lord to do every day of my life. Let me see you lift your hands. Let the Holy Spirit yeah, yeah, yeah. in your home or your job, let in the hospital room, all of me, right here at night line tonight. Anointed. Anybody need God's anointing now? Anointed. Just a rain in your life. Let it rain on me. Let it rain. Let it rain yeah. on me. Yes, God. Healing. Somebody need God's healing. Yeah. healing. We need it tonight. Let it rain on me. Let it rain on me. Let it Hallelujah. Now, this is what I need the Lord to do. Lord, Lord, I yeah. need the best. In my home, on the job, driving alone, even in the hospital room. Come on.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want His Holy Spirit to reign in my life. Hallelujah. How many of you it's another day that the Lord has kept you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, put them hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many know that it's another day that the Lord has kept you? Hallelujah. Amen. God has kept you and keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Can we have a little quartet church if y'all don't mind? Hallelujah. Somebody put them hands together. Give, give, give them praise right there. Amen. Somebody's going through. I just want you to know that God will keep you. In perfect peace. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. It's another. Come on, put your hands together. Listen, it's, it's another day's journey that the Lord has kept me. It's another day's journey that the Lord has kept me. He's kept me from.
Well, I tell you what, we are having such an awesome time tonight on Nightline. We, I'm telling you, Jerome Moorhead and the Voice of Faith, they are really blessing the house on tonight. To God be all the glory. But I do have another amazing <laughs> young man, a powerful young man, a gifted young man on the set with me uh, tonight. He is um, QL. He is a radio host and personality. 10 years on the air in the upstate of South Carolina. <laughs> he also hosts the QL show on B93.7 and 96.3, The Block. <laughs> he has organized back to school events for nine years and does a lot in the community. He does a lot of outreach, y'all. So hi, QL, hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Goodness, I am truly blessed to have you with me on tonight on Nightline. And you are celebrating 10 years. 10 years on the radio. And it's so crazy <laughs> because I literally just left the radio station and came straight over to Nightline to hang out with you tonight. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you what, I, I'm awesome. I'm, I feel awesome and blessed that you are here with me on tonight. I had the opportunity to meet you and just, you asked me to pray for you. I did, well, <laughs> and we prayed. <laughs> <laughs> we was at a, um, okay, because I am a uh, chaplain for uh -huh. the Greenwood County Sheriff's Office. And I had no idea about yeah. that. <laughs> and so we was at a national night out on August the 6th. Yes, and you were there. <laughs> yes, and you, and you were walking your... around, you had your shirt on, and I said, I said, wait, you're a chaplain? You said, yes, I'd like to pray. I said, well, I have an event coming up. Would you like to pray for me? Yeah. Cause I, I have a need, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I need to meet every need, and uh, we pray right there in the middle of National Night Out, and I appreciate that, and yeah. just to be able to come on your platform, yeah. I so appreciate this too. Well, I am so super excited. You are doing so many wonderful things, so many amazing things in the community. Uh, can you share some things that you do? Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> uh, as you said already, uh, I've been doing back to school block parties for nine years now, um, but now we do it as a tour. So we start off in Anderson, we go to Greenville, oh. and then we finish it off in Spartanburg. And Spartanburg is always like the big finale because Spartanburg is my hometown. Wow. So I've been doing things like that. Of course, I work with the mayor of Spartanburg a lot. You do? Um, yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, I, I, like, I like to travel, but also um, I believe inside, I mean, I, I believe in, in, in the community. So we host back to school. Not, not only black school block parties, but we host block parties in, in, in different communities. Yeah. We do Friday night football, music on Main with the city of Spartanburg. <laughs> uh, but just, you know, all things that, you know, uh, that integrates myself and the community. Well, you know, I'm glad that you came on to share about all these different events that you do because, you know, a lot of people don't know what's going on, you yes, know. Ma <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know, they kind of like sitting at home, but if they knew about these things, yeah. they would come and be a part of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So one thing I want to say to you, though, that I'm, I'm proud of you because you're such a young man of God and you're really letting your voice be heard. The yeah. Holy Spirit's hand is on your life. And I'm, I'm thankful that God worked it out for you yeah, to man. be with me tonight. And you have such an amazing event coming up, right? Absolutely. I'm so excited. I'm nervous, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited at the same time. So, of course, I am celebrating 10 years of radio. And we're doing a, a gospel uh, concert, uh, which wow. is going to be featuring Grammy Award winner artist Leandria Johnson. She's going to be there. We have BET Sunday's Best winner, Joshua Rogers. He's yeah. coming. Uh, Sunday's Best finalist, Kristen Jameson. And also, Keelante Gavin. Uh, he's going to be in the building as well. And then Alphaeus Anderson. I'm not sure if you heard Alphaeus Anderson, the Pure Heart I Foundation. I love Alphaeus oh Anderson. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let me tell you. Alphaeus has built a choir of over 200 kids in less than 45 days. <laughs> and they're all going to sing on the stage at the Love Story Church this Sunday. Alphaeus Anderson has a heart for young people. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and, and, and he's truly a youth magnet. Yeah. So that's why <laughs> whenever I was doing this concert, I knew who to reach out to. Yeah. 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 And so some of these people that you mentioned, like I've interviewed uh, Leandria mm -hmm. before. Yeah. And she's a sweetheart. Yeah. And Wow, you got a great lineup. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, it's, it's very interesting because I knew Leandria by way of just friends inside the industry, but Joshua Rogers from Sunday's Best, when I was a freshman yeah. in college, he was actually <laughs> sitting in the office talking to my admissions counselor, and that's how we met. So it's pretty cool to see like 10 years later, now he's coming back to honor me at this uh, at this gospel celebration. But this, is, th this celebration isn't just for me. I believe that okay. it's time for revival in the upstate, yes. right? So it's not just for yes. me, it's for all those people that are looking for those miracles 
that are looking for breakthroughs and just wanting something powerful from God. And that's going to happen August 25th at the Love Story. <laughs> and so where is the Love Story located? So it's 635 Hayward Road. A lot of you guys remember us as Relentless Church. Okay, Relentless. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So the, mm -hmm. of course the pastor is our pastor, uh, Pastor John Gray. Yay. Pastor Apathy Gray <laughs> there as well. Uh, but it's still located, same space, 635 Hayward Road, right across from Haywood Mall. And it's going to be a lot of fun, Miss Annie. Yeah. Well, QA, I don't, I don't want to put you on the spot or anything uh -oh. like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell that you are you have a gift of ministry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you, how would you encourage some other young people tonight, not just to come to the event, but in their walk with the Lord? How would I encourage young people, other people to, uh, you know, in their walk with the Lord? Let me say this. Okay. I tell people all the time, I didn't choose radio, like radio chose me. Like growing oh, up, I always wow. knew I wanted to be a producer, I wanted to be an engineer, or just, just something behind the scenes because I grew up with a speech impediment. Um, and, and literally I got to college and it was like, God just dropped it in my lap and I had to walk through it. And I'll never forget, there was a time where I was working at this radio station and the programmer director at the time, he told me, he said, you don't have any talent, you don't have any drive, you don't sound like a million bucks, and I don't think you should be on my radio station. In fact, Wait a minute, took, hold on. I'm, this Andy, you don't <laughs> so, believe me? I'm, I'm telling you what the man said. He what did he say? He told me that I didn't sound like a million bucks, I didn't have any talent or drive, and I shouldn't be on his station. So he took me off. Oh, Lord. He took me off, I took some time off the radio. Another guy came in, brought me on the radio by the name of Elroy Smith, and then the rest has kind of been history, but I'm not gonna lie, during that time when he he told me that I didn't sound like I, I, I should have been on the radio. It defeated me because that one Whoa. thing that I was all, I always felt insecure about, which was my speech impediment. Yeah. It was like he attacked that thing like head on. And for a long time, I believed that I was done with radio. So I'll never forget leaving my very first radio station. And um, <laughs> me and Lovey Big O, we actually talked about this. And she's yeah. a comedian, radio yeah, personality. Yeah, I community. love her too, Lovey Big O. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> But I'll never forget leaving the station. Um, and I didn't have any job lined up. Like, I, I, I didn't have a job lined up. I didn't apply for any job. Yeah. Um, I was just like, I'm just going to figure this out. Like, maybe I shouldn't be in radio. And, you know, it was just going to be that. And then, like, three weeks until me being off the radio, I get a call from Odyssey. And they were like, QL, can you come up here? Can we talk? And we talked. And here we are. Years later, I've been working for the company for, like, six or seven years now. And um, I don't know. It's been a beautiful journey. It really has. Yeah. Because being on the radio has always sort of like been a passion for you, right? Because yeah. you started out when you was, what, 16? I started out when I was 16 years old. Oh, yeah, my goodness. I started off when I was 16. <laughs> I didn't have the official job yet at 16. And then when I turned 18, I came back, got the job. And yeah. honestly, I never I never left it. I did a little bit of TV as well, uh, red carpets, award shows. But uh, radio was like a passion of mine because of the connection with the community. And I read, too. Let me see. Can I find it real quick? <laughs> <laughs> you are a proud member of Phi Beta Sigma Ab fraternity? Absolutely. Can I yes, shake your hand? Absolutely. <laughs> One of the greatest fraternities on this side of heaven. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to the brothers of Five Brothers Sigma Fraternity and Corporate that's watching. No, but yes, ma'am, I crossed over at Borges University out in Denmark, South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma my goodness. Yes, ma'am. How old are you? Oh, oh, you don't have to tell me if you don't, don't want to. We, we don't talk about the <laughs> age now. <laughs> you so, so young looking. And, yes, ma'am. Yeah, praise yes, God. Yes, ma'am. God is doing a good thing. Yeah, yeah, but have you met with any kind of challenge, other than what you just shared, uh, any other challenges since you branched out into? Whew, challenges? Um, I don't know. Like, I've, I, I think for so long I have been a person that, 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 I allowed the noise to bother me yeah. for, for a, a, a certain point in my life. But now I feel like I'm in the season where I'm just trusting God wholeheartedly. <laughs> like yesterday was Wednesday. I was in the car and I was driving. I said, God, today is a no worry Wednesday. Like I don't want to worry no about anything. Worry I just want to trust you wholeheartedly. No wow. worry Wednesday. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, so, so I don't know. Now I'm just in this new season of just not worrying but just trusting God. Because I feel like, yeah. I, I, I feel like we all say I'll walk, I, I'll walk by faith but not by sight. Yeah. But are we really doing that? Okay. Because, because, because it's like <laughs> if we say we're walking by faith, then why are we continue to pray about that thing and worry about that thing every okay. single day? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. That's a good point. It's a new QL this season. <laughs> it's a new QL this season. And I believe this worship experience has really led me to it because I had to truly trust and lean on God this entire uh, you, you know what I mean, like experience of just trying to sell these tickets, putting them out there, the marketing of it all. Uh, yeah. So I do thank people like you for uh, allowing me to come on your show oh, to you're even welcome. talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come? Like, like, are, are you available this Sunday? Can you come? Yes. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you coming? You're available. Okay. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Okay. I want to see you in the building, thank and you. I'll pitch you in my section as well.
Oh yes. my God. Yes, ma'am. The tell me the time again. It's gonna be at six o'clock this Sunday at the Love Story Church. Doors open at five. Um, it starts show starts at six, and if you click that QR code, then it's on your screen right now to take you straight to Eventbrite to purchase your tickets. You know, I'm gonna tell you something. Tonight has really been a blessing to me because. Uh, Tiffany, my first guest, yes. she brought me these beautiful flowers. And I love this cup. I, 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 I kind of <laughs> want to steal the cup, too. I know. Tiffany, you know what I, mean? a heart to serve. I got a heart to, heart to serve, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, <laughs> you sure do. You sure do. Uh, the night that I met you, you was, your personality, your spirit is what drew me yeah. to you. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I mean, because it's not everybody got that kind of heart like you yeah. have, a heart to serve. Well, I love to. I love to love on God's people, and when I met you, I just, I mean, you, <laughs> it, was, it was so crazy because you, you, you didn't have to mention his name before I knew, like, your spirit and who you wow. were as an individual. So I just love God's people. Yeah. That's it. That's what yeah, I, mean. I love being a chaplain with the, uh, the Greenwood County Sheriff Office because I like going around just praying for people yeah, and yeah. encouraging people. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, well, I think that's what life is all about. That's yeah. what life is all about. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Yes, so uh, tell us again, tell us again about this amazing event because I want everybody to come. Yes. So again, everybody, uh, the event's going to be going down this Sunday. I'm celebrating 10 years in radio. We're bringing uh, BET Sunday's best winner, uh, Joshua <laughs> Rogers. Lee Andrea Johnson, she's going to be there as well. I talked to her today on FaceTime. She's so excited about coming to Green Deer. <laughs> so this is going to be really fun. I um, mean, you guys got some surprises in there as well. But the Mayor Jerome Rice, he's coming. Pastor John Gray has a few words to say as well. Kelante Gavin, he's going to be here. You know, recently we had the, uh, the tropical storm and it kind of hit through the low country area in Charleston. Okay, yeah. So we had to reschedule his live recording so he hasn't had any concert dates since then so it's going to be his very first concert he's going to do it in Greenville so wow. all I'm telling you guys <laughs> is get the youth there too because we also heard that we have confirmed over 300 youth that's going to be in the building that night so it's going to be like it's going to be a lot of fun <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun well do you have any um mentors or anybody that speaks to you or encourages you along the way oh my gosh I would I would like to say lovey big o yeah, um, she is a mentor of mine. She's someone that I speak to on an everyday basis, kind of keep me sane. Definitely got to give a huge shout out to people like uh, Elroy Smith, um, Jeffrey Lampin, who's also a TV personality out yeah. in the Columbia area. Um, but I just lean on the people that are around me, my circle, my grandma, my mom. Like, they, 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 <laughs> like, like I tell people all the time, like, no matter how old I get, I'll always be a student. Like, I always want to make sure that I'm learning something each and every day. That's another thing I've read about you. <laughs> <laughs> Say you are committed to ambassadorship and uh, community activism. Yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, and you have a great. Oh, here you go. You respect your elders, your family, <laughs> uh, your community, while inspiring people with his old soul uh -huh. and a heartfelt approach. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I gotta still respect my elders because I'm still around that age and if I don't respect the elders, y'all may slap me upside my head or something like that respectfully, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I have to respect the elders. Well, that's, yes, you know, that's what's gonna help carry you. Yes, ma'am. To your next, you know, um, level that you're going to, to your next dimension, I won't say dimension, Yeah. But the new season that God yeah, is bringing. Yeah, new season yeah, yeah, that yeah, God yeah. is bringing into yeah, your yeah. life. And I believe I'm living in the new season right yeah. now. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Praise God. So, I, again, I am super excited about you being with us tonight. Can you um, encourage some other young people? I know that you, got, you said you're going to have about 300 people in the yes. building. Young yes. people. Yes, young people. Young people. Listen, I need <laughs> you guys to get in the building okay again you can head over to my facebook instagram or TikTok at the ql show there's the qr code right there and for tonight this is what i'm going to do i'm going to give you guys this this discount code to save on your tickets put in the code ql10 to <laughs> save on your tickets get your tickets be in the building with myself miss annie's going to be there as well and it's going to be a lot of fun this sunday doors open at five it starts at six and we are going to have a block party on the outside of the church from four o'clock wow. until six we're going to have food trucks out there um, we're going to have a couple of special guests are going to walk through the block party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to do my best. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to oh. praise already. Oh, I'm no. ready now. <laughs> this is do. Nightline. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to do my best to try to be there. And again, we're happy to have you with us tonight. Thank you. But right now, we are going back to Jerome Moorhead and the Voices of Faith, and they're going to be singing, God is my everything. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> Come on, put them hands together right there. Come on. God is my everything. 
Tonight, I read a scripture when we came on the air from Mark 12, 30 and 31. And it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. And tonight we have been truly blessed to have two phenomenal young people on the set with me tonight. We have Miss Tiffany Glenn. Again, she's the CEO and founder of a nonprofit ministry, A Heart to Serve. And then I have QL. <laughs> He's a radio personality and host of the, Q, of the QL show. And these two mighty young people are doing so many great things. They are loving their neighbor. Thank you, Tiffany, for coming back to yes. be with me. <laughs> Again, I am super um, happy and so very proud of, of everything that you're doing in the community. Yes, and QL, you know I'm... Um, I'm blessed to know you. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Likewise, likewise. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tiffany, do you have like a last little couple of minutes takeaway you want to share? I'm just, I just thank God that he's able to let me be on your show today. Yeah. And I just want to let everybody know there is a God that loves you. There is a God. And I love you. Yeah. I love everybody. And tell us again how we can uh, contact you. You can contact me, you know, 864-908-6858. If you mm -hmm. just need to talk to somebody and you need a, a hear, a ear, a, a, I can't even get my words out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, and um, also, um, if you want to donate, you can donate um, www.aheartToServe.online mm -hmm. or um, Cash App, T TG, A Heart to Serve, TG, at Cash App. And, um, or if you want to just give donations, you can do that <laughs> as well. Amen. Yes. And QL, you are celebrating 10 years. 10 years. On the radio. It's crazy right. when you say that, like a decade in radio. Like, oh, I'm really doing <laughs> Am I really doing that? But yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. And it's yeah. going down um, this Sunday, uh, the celebration at the Love Story Church. Again, tickets are on sale right now. You can click that QR code on your screen to get your tickets. Lee Andrea Johnson is going to be there. BET Sunday's Best Winner, Joshua Rogers, Kelante Gavin, Kristen Jameson, Lovely Big O. She's the host. And if you have never seen Lovely Big O, the woman is funny. She's phenomenal. She is. She is. Ooh, so, wait. Uh, I'm so excited <laughs> about this. And uh, I, I do want to say this as well. Okay. Your team here amazing they are hospitality they are. amazing <laughs> like your 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 floor director came to me as soon as i came in asked me did i need anything she took care of me like I, I, can i come back tonight Lauren? is it, i mean can, can we make that happen one day <laughs> yes. and, 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 and i could bring you guys to the station as well uh, we would love that <laughs> yes and you speaking can, you're about, welcome to come back. And, yes, well, yes. and I'll bring you over to our station okay. as well. <laughs> and family, don't forget, uh, you can check me out Monday through Fridays, 3 o'clock until 7 on The Block, which is 96.3 in Greenville, 104.5 in Spartanburg, and 107.7 in Anderson. And then, of course, after that, I leave and go to B93.7, where we have Hawk and Tom in the morning, but I'm on the night show from 7 o'clock until 12 midnight. Yeah. Wow. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm proud. I'm happy. My soul is like rejoicing <laughs> right now just to, just to have you both on with me. And that Jerome Moorhead. Let me tell you something. And the voices of faith. Y'all saw me over here churching now. <laughs> yes. That's why I can't wait till Sunday because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm be doing the same thing on Sunday. I love like just some just for like some some good church like hand clapping, some good church. stumping your feet, all of that. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yes, Amen. And we had so many of you to call in tonight for prayer. Mm -hmm. I always want to brag on our prayer partners because they are truly amazing and they are there to hear and answer uh, your calls when you call in and pray with you and mm -hmm. speak life to you. You know, I had, uh, when I came in tonight, Miss Mary, you know, she told me that someone had called last night because I, I was preaching on Nightline last night and they were saying how they enjoyed the word and and enjoyed the service, right? And I am so thankful for them calling in and say they was encouraged by that. But we want, that's what we're here for. We're here to lift your spirits up, to encourage you. Bobby called in and said he fell and broke his back mm -hmm. and is having surgery in the morning. Mm -hmm. Bobby, we are praying God's blessing and healing for you tonight yes. in Jesus' name. Patsy called in and said need healing for her eyes and she's need prayer. So we're believing God for you tonight. 
Uh, someone called in, oh, another person called in for healing for their eyes tonight. We believe in God. Can we just pray real quick? Yes, yes. Can we hold hands yes. and pray? Thank you for tuning in tonight, Maya, in Jesus' name. Father, we just want to lift up every yes. person that called in tonight. We know that the prayer partners have already prayed, but we are touching and agreeing with them Amen. that you're going to move, heal, and to restore yes. every person that called in. Whatever the need is, spoken or unspoken, we're believing you tonight in the holy and mighty and precious name of your son, Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Amen.